Welcome to our Maths Teacher YouTube channel. Today you are going to learn about the third lesson in the unit Direct Proportion. Solving problems related to Direct Proportion. The second method using the definition. Today you are going to learn how to solve problems related to direct proportion using the definition. Can you remember we learned that if two quantities are directly proportional then the ratio of any two values of the first quantity is equal to the ratio of the corresponding values of the second quantity. Let's see this example. The price of a book varies depending on the quantity of books is shown below. Number of books and the corresponding prices. If there are a number of books, the price of them is U rupees. If the number of books is B, the corresponding price of them is V rupees. According to the above bold statement, you can write that the ratio of the number of books is equal to the ratio of their corresponding prices. That is A to B equals U to V. This can be expressed as in terms of fractions. You have learned to write a ratio as a fraction in previous grades. That is A over B equals U over V. If you want, you can write it in another way. That is B over A equals V over U. By cross multiplication, you can write A into V equals B into U. You can solve problems related to direct proportion using this feature. Shall we discuss the same examples we discussed in our second lesson, unitary method using this method. Let's see the first example. The price of 5 exercise books is 240 rupees. Find the price of 3 exercise books. First, it's important to identify the two quantities. They are number of books and price. Let's illustrate it using a narrow diagram. Number of books and the price. The price of 5 books is 240. The price of 3 books is? Let's assume it as x rupees. Now you can write it as 5 to 3 equals 240 to x. Then it is expressed in terms of a fraction as 5 over 3 equals 240 over x. Then by cross multiplication you can write 5x equals 240 into 3. Now a simple equation has been obtained. By solving it the value of x can be found. 5x equals 240 into 3. To make x the subject, you have to divide both the sides by 5. 5x five divided by 5. 5 is get cancelled and x is left in the left hand side. In the right hand side, 240 and 5, you can divide both the values by 5. 5 divided by 5, 1. 240 divided by 5, 48. Now, 48 into 3, that is 144. Accordingly, the price of Three books is 144 rupees. Now let's see another example. A train travels at a speed of 120 kilometers in an hour. What is the distance it travels in 5 minutes? Here the two quantities are time and the distance. You can represent these data in an arrow diagram. Within 1 hour, that means within 60 minutes, the train travels 120 kilometers. Then let's assume 
the distance travel within 5 minutes as x kilometers. Now you can write it as 60 to 5 equals 122 x. You can express these ratios as fractions 60 over 5 equals 120 over x. By cross multiplication you can write that 60 x equals 5 into 120. Now to find the value of x let us divide both the sides by 60. Then in left hand side 60 is a get cancelled. In right hand side 120 and 60 both can be divided by 60. 60 divided by 61, 120 divided by 62. So x equals 10. Hence the distance travel in 5 minutes is 10 kilometers. The third example, an item bought for 500 rupees is sold keeping a profit of 10%. Find its selling price. You know the meaning of 10%. 10% means if the cost price is 100, the selling price is 110 rupees. You can illustrate this data in an arrow diagram. If the cost price is 100 rupees, the selling price is 110 rupees. Let's assume the selling price of the item which is bought for 500 rupees as x rupees. So, you can write the ratios of these quantities. The ratio between the cost prices and the ratio between the selling prices. They are equal. 100 to 500 equals 110 to x. Now express them as fractions. 100 over 500 equals 110 over x. By cross multiplication, 100 x equals 110 into 500. To find the value of x, divide both sides by 100. Then in left hand side, 100 are get cancelled and x is left. In the right hand side, 500 and 100 both can be divided by 100. 100 divided by 101, 500 divided by 105. Then 110 into 5 that is 550. Hence, the selling price of the item is 550 rupees. Now you are given a homework. Write answers for the exercise 10.3 in the textbook by using the second method that is by using the definition. I will be back in the next lesson of this unit. Don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.